Okay, one final thing to show you here. We're having so much fun here. Back in my transparency palette, I have this little link icon here. This is kind of neat. So right now my artwork is selected here. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this text here that I had pasted in front, and I'm just going to lock that down, Control-2 or Command-2 on the Mac. I'll go back and click inside my text there, inside my letters, to grab the mask. I can tell I have the mask by looking at my transparency palette. And I have my artwork thumbnail selected, but I'm going to uncheck this little link guy between my two thumbnails. And now I can move my dough, think of the dough, I can move my graphic around inside the mask. So maybe I want to position it something like this. Maybe I want to squeeze it just a touch larger or a touch smaller, or maybe I want to rotate it just a little bit, especially with this galaxy here. It might be nice to rotate it just a little bit. Maybe something like that. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Okay, back to my move tool here. By the way, I just hit R on my keyboard to switch to my rotate tool and then back to V for my move tool. So that's looking pretty awesome there. I'm pretty proud of myself. And the other thing that I could do, of course, is I could go back to my mask thumbnail. And what I could do, although it's not really a good idea right now, is I could move the cookie cutter around a little bit. I could do something like this, right? And it's kind of hard to see what's happening there because I have this locked object over top. But maybe what I'll do, I'll just back up a couple of steps here just by hitting Control z Command-Z on the Mac. And I'll just tap this up using my arrow keys on my keyboard, tap it to the right just a little bit, maybe something like that. Again, if you want some kind of a special effect, or if you're trying to make your document look like it didn't print correctly, you could do something like that. Anyway, I'm going to undo all of that stuff because I was happy with where it was here. That's looking pretty awesome. So I'm going to grab everything here and click the space between my two thumbnails there. That relinks everything together. Now when I move everything around, the whole works goes together. But again, I have that locked object, that locked outline on top. So it's probably a good idea to unlock it. Control Alt 2. And then I'll grab the works here, group it, Control G, Command G on the Mac. And now everything's one single unit. I can move it around as one. So there you go. There's some cool stuff with your opacity masks. Have lots and lots of fun. Try it on different shapes. Try it on text and blow your mind.